Guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the post navigation uh, function of WordPress. So, the post navigation function basically displays the navigation to the next or previous post when applicable. Okay, so if you go onto the, the theme, uh, this is my site, WordPress site, and if I go onto a, any particular post, let's say this one. Okay, and if I click on the post, it takes me to a single page for that post, and then you can see that uh, you know you have an option over here. Leave a reply. Okay, that is coming from the post navigation. So let's go to a post which is somewhere in the center. Okay, so. Moment. All right, so I'm on to onto one of my posts on a single page, and you can see that whatever is inside of the nav start and nav end is uh, what is coming from the post navigation function. Okay, now you have an option you can directly call it like so, or you can pass in arguments inside of it. I'm echoing a nav start and nav end to just show you as to you know what is going on over here and what is inside of it. Okay. Um, so it gives you a link that takes you to the previous post if you click on it then you will get an option let's see yeah for the next post as well okay so it accepts an arguments uh, which is, will be an array of arguments okay and the different arguments that you can pass inside of it uh, depending on what you want to display okay uh, there's an example right over here uh, which says that this is the array item and this is what you can pass. Now, how do we know what arguments to be passed? Uh, on Codex, it doesn't tell me anywhere what arguments, values uh, we need to pass, what keys, what values needs to be there. The best way to check out is that we can just find where this function is defined in WordPress. So this function is defined in link template.php, which is inside of WP includes folder. And this function calls the uh, echoes out the uh, what is return of the get the post navigation uh, function and same arguments whatever you pass is going to be passed over here uh, idly if you don't pass anything that is an empty array okay so let's check what this does so this is again defined in the same file link template.php and this is the argument uh, that is available and these are the uh, you know property name and property values that we can pass okay so it's uh, first is prev text next text in same term, exclude terms, taxonomy, screen reader tasks. Okay, so prev text is basically, if you check, you can mention over here whatever you want to display uh, for the previous link. So if you check over here, this part before the uh, title, the post title, uh, this part is coming from uh, prev text. Okay, so if you check my file, okay. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, brief text. So this brief text is brief chapter, okay, and then uh, next text, the next chapter. So this is coming from here, okay. Uh, and in same term, which means that you know, if you set this to true, then it would be in term taxonomy where term taxonomy will be post tag, okay. And screen reader text will be continue reading, so you can write anything that you want over here. Whatever you write will be displayed over here. Uh, okay, so let's just inspect element and see what is being displayed. Okay, so you have the H1 tag, you have this uh, navigation post uh, navigation. So this entire navigation uh, tag is coming from the function, uh, the post navigation, right? Okay, now, uh, where do we define this function? Where do we call this function? So basically, I'm calling this into my single.php file. And if you go onto the WordPress hierarchy, okay, you will notice that if you are using any custom post type uh, on a, or a single post page, uh, you know, it will first check if these are the files that are available. If not, then it's just going to uh, look for the single.php page. So if you're uh, theme has a single.php page is going to go ahead and use that to display the single post page 
uh, otherwise it'll look for singular.php and if it still doesn't find it then look for index.php so since i have single.php for my single post uh, page uh, that's why whenever i go ahead and click on to a single post it's going to go ahead and uh, take me to the single.php it's going to use the single.php template okay so if i go into any of my posts let's say this one it takes me to the single post. It uses a single post uh, .php page to display the content. And over here we have uh, everything going on over here. This get header function, get footer function to co to get the header and the footer included. Then you have the uh, the loop uh, going on, which is is going to display the post content. Uh, have post the post. You must be aware about this. Okay, and then get complete template part is basically going to include the content dot php and this get post format is going to get the slug uh, of uh, post format in case if the user has chosen any format while writing the post let's say if he has selected any formats over here then for example if selected image then it this function is going to ret return image as the as the um, slug and then this is going to look for content dash uh, image dot php file okay and then over here is where we, i'm calling the post navigation function um, inside of the loop which is going to go ahead and display the link uh, for the previous post and next post and also going to display the uh, title uh, which would be just one moment yeah, screen reader text is going to display the screen reader text as well, which is here. This continue reading, and then it's going to display the previous uh, post link or the next post link, and this part is coming from um, this next chapter, basically, and previous chapter. Previous chapter is coming from here. Previous chapter. Okay, so I hope that helps. So this function, the post navigation, basically displays the navigation to the next or previous post when applicable. Alright, alright then I'll see you in the next video.